Jai Squad, and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I., and I'm coming at you guys live from inside of Vader. Now, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, man, today we're going to be talking about my P3 gauge. A lot of you guys have been sliding up in my DMs and dropping comments on reels and stuff like that asking about the peak three gauge so today we're going to go over every function that the p3 gauge has and also some of the cons and the pros of running the p3 gauge so let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into this banger yeah what's up with it do it because i love it and i stuck with it we ain't with the sub and in the cut with it please none of the talks i heard enough of it like what you gon' do, where you at, who you with, you ain't really bout this, don't talk about don't it do Really on the move, on the map, never slip, keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about don't it do Real eyes, real lies, real lies, all the time stand on it, if we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips, new phone, who this, no we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know, what's an off day, now we on road, came from Alright you guys, so jumping straight into the video, man Coming in at $399, base price, not including um, if you opt to get the trim bezel, an additional one where the P3 gauge will already be inserted for the AC, then you will be paying $399, just about like $410, unless you go to Wild Hammer Motorsports and use code JIWILD that you see right here to save yourself some money at checkout, that's what you would be paying. Um, now, basically, what is the P3 gauge? The P3 gauge is a all-in-one gauge system that you can use for any one of your cars. Now, a couple of things that the P3 gauge reads. Coming in first is gonna be boost. This thing doubles back as a boost gauge. Obviously, Vader is NA, so there's no boost reading at all. Next, after you leave boost, is gonna be your ni1 which if you opt for the wideband it would be wideband and it would be showing you whatever your air fuel ratio is now currently i have the am wideband because the p3 gauge we'll get into the reason why i'm running both gauges a separate gauge for my wideband but the second thing that it does is it's a wideband the third thing it does, it actually can track your speed. So it also works as a speedometer, which is crazy. Like say you wanna have a different set of gauges up on your cluster, you can just have the mile per hour be on this gauge itself. So that's wild. Then another thing that it reads is your battery voltage. Definitely a dope um, thing to be able to see on one of your gauges if you didn't have it already integrated in the car like the Camaros do. So then the next thing that it reads is actually crazy. It's reading the RPMs. So this is my RPMs right now. So it also is, not only is it a speedometer, it's also a tachometer, <laughs> which is crazy. It reads your IATs, which is a big reason why I got this gauge in the first place. It reads your IATs, and it also reads your IAT2s, which is basically the manifold temp. Then it also reads ignition timing which is crazy like bro what <laughs> keep on going there's your ignition right there then it also reads ethanol now of course we're on 91 right now we're not on e85 so you will see like e10 e11 next it reads your coolant temps literally reads your coolant temps i mean come on bro what <laughs> And then it reads your exhaust temperatures, bro. It's, it's, there's a lot of things that this thing does, but this is the fun part. It reads zero to 60, it reads zero to 100, it reads 60 to zero, it reads 100 to zero, it reads 60 to 130. <laughs> bro, all of those timers are put in here. It's like having a draggy without having a draggy. And then it goes back to boost. Oh yeah, man, as you guys just saw, there is a whole bunch of functions that come with the P3 gauge. It is literally like, I wanna say 
almost 10 gauges put into one, which is insane. You don't have to have a whole bunch of gauges on your A-pillar or a whole bunch of like gauges put in, spread out around your car. You can literally just have all of them in one place, in one spot, and you can still use your AC. It does not clog the AC vent or eliminate your AC vent because you know in the Camaro you only have four ports for the AC you got one on each side of the dash and then two in the center console that's it so being able to keep that function is definitely something that I wanted especially living in Texas where it gets mad hot even with the 5% tint thankfully we got the ceramic so you know it kind of blocks out that heat but still it's still hot in Texas you want all the AC you can get you know what I'm saying so that's pretty dope to be able to use that too. Now, moving from the pros and everything that this gauge does to the cons. I know you guys wanna know about the cons and as you guys know, I keep it 100% with you guys on everything that I do so that y'all know that everything that I'm doing is not always a positive side. There's always negatives that comes with this and you gotta be able to stay 10 toes down clear head level headed and think of the next solution to continue to move forward now one of the main reasons why i got this gauge as you guys know if you've been a part of the channel for a while is because it reads iats and i've been taking the car to the drag strip and literally i wanted to be able to track the iats um, so that i know i'm not running the car while it's heat soaked also it reads e85 content those two were the main reasons why I got it. And then the final reason that I got it was because it was also a wide band as well. So literally it was all three of the gauges that I need all in one spot, all in one part of the car. And I wouldn't have to have any additional like gauge pods or anything like that. You guys know me, y'all know I like my cars to be simple but clean. OEM plus is what we like to call it. You dig what I'm saying? So the less extra add-ons, the better. It leads me to the con, man. As you guys saw, I'm still running the AEM wideband for my air fuel ratio. And that's simply because whenever you're using, if you're using HP tuners to data log your car or to tune your car, whatever the case may be, unfortunately, P3 is not compatible with HP tuners. You can try everything in the book to get it to work. I know because I tried literally having conversations back and forth with Brandon over at NRG, conversations with um, Jake over at P3, and conversations with, I believe it's Christian Christopher over at uh, HP Tuners, literally going back and forth, man. There is no way to get your data log to read the air fuel ratio when running the p3 gauge it just doesn't work the communications are off the hp tuners device and the p3 they just they can't communicate so you'll go to data log and your wideband your air fuel ratio will literally disappear in the log and that was one of the issues that i was having when i first got this gauge was trying to get it to communicate with hp tuners so i could send a log over to the guys at nrg and then get the revised the revised tune now that being said if you guys already have the aem wideband i would say go ahead and keep that if you're really, really thinking about going P3 for the other gauges that it does offer, I still say go ahead and get it. If you can do it, get it. And then with the AEM, you can get a single gauge pod, which I have on the way, that'll go in the place of the window defroster. Now that still, you know, carries the function. The only thing about that is, I did notice that whenever you turn up the defroster, it does take a little slower. Uh, it takes a little longer for it to actually clear the window. Just something to note. Um, but yeah, man, if you guys are running HP tuners and you're planning on running the P3 gauge, man, Honestly, just know it's not gonna work. Take it from your boy J.I. Save yourself some money if that's the only reason why you're trying to get the gauge. But if you're trying to get the gauge for everything else that it does, trust me, go ahead and get it. The zero to 60 timers, the one, the 60 to 130 timers are accurate. They actually do work. Um, speaking from experience, you dig what I'm saying? I've done zero to 60, I've done 60 to 130, and that's pretty much it. I haven't done the 60 to zero, the 100 to zero. Um, obviously, I just don't have space for that. I was doing my other runs in Mexico, as you guys know, and uh, we're not gonna come from 100 mile an hour to a zero standstill um, in the streets of Mexico. It's just not gonna happen, no. 
<laughs> so with all that being said y'all that's actually gonna wrap it up for today's video i hope this video helped you guys if you were on the fence about getting this gauge i hope it answered your questions if not leave them down in the comment section down below y'all already know how i am i get back to all the comments as soon as possible as soon as i see it i try to reply to it if i can't reply to it right then and there i make an effort to reply to it within the hour so you will get a response go ahead and drop the questions in the comment section down below but that's i'm gonna wrap it up today's video i'm gonna go ahead and roll that outro i'll see you guys in the next one peace